Civil War. Who doesn't love this matchup? Oregon, Oregon State. Now the Ducks, they're already going bowling and there is renewed enthusiasm with Justin Herbert making a triumphant return a week ago against Arizona and he looked the part. Even so, according to PFF, Kyle Justin Herbert's the most accurate passer in the Pac-12 and I think this young man is a future star. Might even lead Oregon, at least in my opinion right now, preseason number one in the North next year. But let's get back to this ball game. In the Civil War, it's all about the emotion. For Corey Hall, the interim head coach, that's exactly what he gives the Beavers. They're going to have to show up, though, and they're going to have to do it in the running game. This is going to have to be Ryan Nall, maybe his final game as a Beaver. Who knows what he'll do after this game, as well as Thomas Tyner, even though he's going to apply for a sixth year. It might be their final time in a Beaver uniform. Tyner facing his old team. They got to run the football. They have a chance in this ball game and take away possessions because the offense, specifically the seniors of Royce Freeman and that left tackle Tyrell Crosby, they want to leave Austin Stadium on a high note and they might because they've been dominant over the last couple weeks in the run game. Adding Justin Herbert has added another layer. Oregon is a team that nobody wants to play unless you're doing it in a rivalry game and that's exactly what you have on ESPN2 at 4 o'clock. Now what will be a fun game as well will be the Pac-12 title game. We don't know who's coming out of the north just yet, but somebody's going to be playing USC. So get your tickets at pack-12.com slash tickets.